Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Data Box. And, and I will show you how to deploy the Azure Data Box using the Azure Portal. What is Azure Data Box? The Microsoft Azure Data Box Cloud solution lets you send terabytes of data into Azure in a quick, inexpensive, and reliable way. The secure data transfer is accelerated by shipping you a proprietary data box storage device. Each storage device has a maximum usable storage capacity of 80 terabytes and is transported to your data center through a regional carrier. You can order the data box device via the Azure portal. Once the device is received, you can quickly set it up using the local web UI. Copy the data from your servers to the device and ship the device back to the Azure. In the Azure data center, your data is automatically uploaded from the device to Azure. The entire process is tracked end to end by the data box service in the Azure portal. The Azure data box family offers products of differing storage cap capacities to help send terabytes of data to Azure in a quick, inexpensive, and reliable way. And data box, the, the device with 100 terabytes capacity uses standard NAS protocols and common copy tools. It features AES 256-bit encryption for safe, safer transit. Data box is ideally suited to transport data sizes larger than 40 terabytes in scenarios with no to limited network connectivity. The data movement can be one-time, periodic, or initial bulk data transfer followed by periodic transfers. One-time migration, initial bulk transfer, or periodic uploads. What is data box disk? Data box disk for data sizes less than 40 terabytes. Microsoft ships you one to five encrypted solid state drives to copy data and ship back to Microsoft Azure data center. Data box. Data box for data sizes between 40 and 500 terabytes. Microsoft Azure ships you a 100 terabyte drug storage device to copy data and ship back to Microsoft Azure. Data box heavy. Data box heavy for data sizes greater than 500 terabytes. Microsoft ships you a one petabyte device via freight to copy data and ship back. Okay, I will log into Azure portal and I will show you how to deploy the Azure data box using the Azure portal. I'm logging into Azure portal now. I'm in the Azure portal. I will go to home and go to search resources services. I'll just type data box. And you can see under services, Azure data box or data box, click on it. And here you can 
click on add for right now i don't have any resources let me create one resource group quick before i create this data box before i deploy the azure data box let me create a resource group i'll just say azure data box resource group and location is to yes let me create this okay. my resource group is created now i will go to data box i will click on add and select subscription azure subscription and resource group azure data box resource group this is just for demo purpose i'm not deploying any azure data box but i just want to show you how to deploy azure data box using the azure portal and here transfer type import to azure and source country let's just say united states then destination let's just say east us and click on apply just takes a couple of minutes now it's ready so here you can see a data box disk less than 40 terabytes data box disk if it is 100 terabytes data box between 40 terabytes to 500 terabytes data box and then greater than 500 terabytes data box heavy there is one more plan i forgot to tell you that is data box gateway data box gateway also transfers data to and from azure but it's virtual appliance data box gateway virtual device with storage use this device to send your data over the network to azure you can send the data online using this data box gateway so let's come back here so these are the plan and here it, they said send your own disk one terabytes onwards so if you see that here in the plan data box this 40 terabytes total capacity per order you can see 35 terabyte usable capacity up to five disk per order supports azure blobs files managed disk and ADLS generation to accounts copy data to one storage account here you can see the for pricing page you can check the pricing pages and order processing fee one unit 50 us dollars daily disk usage fee per disk per day 10 dollars standard shipping fee one package 30 dollars so you can choose that so here if you see it, all these plans supports azure blobs files manage disk and adls generation to accounts and i'll just i'll just select this send your own disk plan one terabyte onwards send up to 10 disks per order supports sata ssd disk supports azure blobs files copy data to one storage account i'll select this plan i'm not deploying anything but i just want to show you how how to create a import export job here in the basics you can give details import into azure or export from azure just give a name give a name for this job and then select subscription and pick a resource group i'll just say test data box one then after that you need to give a job details And then here you can upload the select file and then you can choose the import destination okay this is how you create this is how you define azure data box using azure portal if you have any questions on this data box please post it in the the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel Thank you.